Hi, I'm Debbie, and welcome to Divine Destiny with Debbie. Today we're reading for September 12th, 13th, 14th, and 15th, Monday through Thursday. Now, if you have just joined this channel watching for the first time, you want to skip the introduction, hope you'll watch it at least one time and go right to the uh, videos for your sign or your ascending, rising, all of the above, cross watchers. Then go down here because right down there in the description, I will have put the timestamp for when this ends. <laughs> okay, okay. Hope you'll watch it at least one time. Anyway, um, because this is the week, Monday through Thursday, I use my Radley Valentine decks. I use my Archangel Power Tarot cards. I use my Guardian Angels Tarot cards. I will also use my, what are these called again? Inspirational fairies, uh, inspirational wisdoms from fairy, from angels and fairies. And this is from, still have to look, Francis uh, Monroe, an artwork by Juicy, Juicy, <laughs> Judy Mastrangelo. <laughs> okay, so, and then I will finish up by pulling one from my Emily Anderson crystal deck. Now, because we're doing the introduction, I always do a universal type of energy, what's going on in the world, and I will use my Weight Rider deck and my Colette Baron Read the Good Tarot. Now, I have prayed, meditated, and infused all the decks with Reiki energy, but remember, this is a general reading. It may or may not resonate. Take what you like, leave the rest. I am an intuitive channeler. I open myself up to higher power. My job is just to deliver the message and try not to get too much in the way of it. So, uh, like I said, you can pop over to the timestamp and, you know, bypass this. But again, you know, I hope you don't because there's always a little tidbit of something that you can find here. Now, um, we are on, like I said, what is it, the 13th, no, the 12th, 13th, 14th, and 15th. So we have the, you know, the new moon, which is on the 10th. And I think that was like at 5.58 a.m., um, you know, Eastern Standard Time. And that is in Pisces. And I talked about that as a very good, wishful, wishing moon. Now, we jump to the 11th. And again, Virgo trines Uranus, which is retrograde in Taurus. So there could be some unexpected energies going on right there. Um, or, you know, Virgo and Taurus are both Earth energies. Taurus, Capricorn, and Virgo Earth energies, but this involves Taurus and Virgo more so. And, you know, that is about your money, job, career, and, you know, your home, your, you know, just your security in itself. So Uranus is about the expect the unexpected, and it is retrograde. So, you know, Uranus is uh, interesting energy. Many times over, it does, it's kind of like the tower energy where it clears so many things up and then basically helps you to rebuild. Anyway, so then we jump. We jump from the 11th to the 16th. So there's not a lot of movement or not a lot of things noted with the planets at that time, but you have to remember we do have six planets that are retro. Um, Jupiter in Aries, Mercury in Libra, Neptune in Pisces, Pluto in Capricorn, Saturn in Aquarius, and Uranus in Taurus. And we do have two planets direct, Mars, which is in Gemini, and we have Venus, which is in Virgo. So we have some interesting stuff. So what we've been experiencing um, prior to the full moon, um, you know, energies, basically we will continue to be experiencing the full moon energies kind of put a little push onto things and kind of gave a little bit of a ha ha ha. Hey, we're going to mess a little bit with you. But again, it is in Pisces. So that is a really good ending. Okay, remember Pisces is the end of the astrological season. So it's a really good ending, but it's also getting you ready for that really good beginning also. So let's go on and see. Remember, we are also coming to the, what is it, the 22nd, 23rd, when we start Libra season, we will also be having the equinox. Now, in the northern hemisphere, that will be for autumn, and for the southern hemisphere, that will be for spring. So that is where things are, at least for that day, equal. Light is equal to dark. So that is also the time when, you know, right around equinox energies, is also the time, you know, give it a cup to, you know, give it up to maybe October 31st 
when the veil between this world and the next is very, very thin. So everybody, you know, be aware. Mercury retrograde in Libra, again, is one of those times that, um, you know, that that people come to visit us from, you know, the beyond. So just be aware. Don't be too freaked out if that should happen to you. Write it down. Uh, my sister always says, look, look, toward, look, see if you could see below their knees. She always says when somebody comes to visit her, she says she can never see their feet. I usually ask, you know, when somebody has come to visit me, I'm, all, I'm usually, huh, you still dead? <laughs> yes, Debbie, I'm still dead. Am I dead? No, Debbie, you're not dead. And then my sister's like, don't ask them that. Look to see their feet. And then ask them what they want to tell you. So I'll share that with you. But it just seems that I always have to ask what I have to ask. Okay, one card has dropped. Let's see. Let's go ahead and pull out two more cards. And put these over here. A little bit crooked on my thing. Sorry about that. Let's push these down a little more. Okay, let's see what we've got here. This is the card that fell. Anything that's reversed has a little stronger, let's pay attention to it, um, kind of meaning. So let's see what we've got here. First card is, okay, so this is the Nine of Swords. The Nine of Swords, Swords energy is air energy. And that is our Aquarius, our Libra, where we have, you know, what do we have? Saturn and Mercury, both, you know, Saturn is re in retro for Aquarius and Mercury for Libra. And it's also our, it's also Gemini energy, air energy. And Mars is in, um, you know, in uh, Gemini right now. Mars is a little bit more forceful, though. Mars is kind of telling you to, you know, you know, is telling, like, cut the garbage. This is going to get through. We're going to get through whatever it is. So I kind of feel like, you know, with, you know, Mercury and Saturn with, with that type of energy is kind of like, oh, think about this. Think about that. What else can go wrong? What else can happen? But I really feel that in this case, Mars in Gemini is about cut the garbage. Hey, things, you know, things move on. People move on. What you're seeing now is not real. It's all an illusion. You need to start you know, putting out, putting out, putting out the positive energies. Now, again, you know, sword energy, air energy is our um, making some plans, strategic thinking, thinking things through, also hearing news. This is really very, um, you know, this is the type of energy that keeps you up at night, that makes you kind of, you know, doubt, doubt, doubt. But again, this is also telling you, and nine, nine is let's wrap it up. You've got everything you need. This is saying this is not real. Whatever this is that's bothering you, you get through it and things, you know, things move on. Things move on. This is more, um, you know, this is really telling you that your thoughts are very, um, you know, your thoughts, if you want to put a lot of energy into negative energies, you will get back negative energy. So turn it around and, you know, go towards that positive energy. This is, you know, it's not worth losing sleep over. Can you really do anything about anything? No. So sleep, try to sleep, pray, meditate, you know, do whatever it is to help lift and keep your vibrations very, very high. Okay. I'm really picking up that Mars and Gemini right now. And that Mars, Mars, remember, that's the, you know, God of War. And Gemini is very intellectual. Gemini is very, you know, thinks things through. And it's kind of like, no, we're not, we're not, we're not doing this again. We're not doing this again. Next card is, here we go. Now, this is reversed. This is that pentacle energy. Again, that is the earth energy. Um, Capricorn, Virgo, and Taurus energy. And all of them have something going on. Virgo has Venus, which is very kind and loving, okay? This is a six. Six is the number of man. Um, it is the energies you put into something. This is um, provision. This is also, I know that that's kind of the two, the two I feel of pentacles is also part of that. But this is money coming from an unknown source. This is money coming from, um, you know, from miracles, from prayers, uh, again, this, you know, pentacles is our, uh, you know, our money, job, career. It is also our home. But it is about, again, provision. Now, I do, 
I do love the scales whenever I see this one. Even though this is pentacles, I always feel that this does have that air energy. And, you know, so that does have that Libra energy in it, too. And Libra wants to make things balanced. So even though, you know, even though there's going to be stressors and things happening, you have to have faith and you have to believe and you have to keep your vibrations high. Uh, there is there is a solution. There is money coming. This is money from an unexpected source also. So here we go. Last card here. Now we have, again, so these two were reversed, right? I don't know. Was that reversed? Well, anyway, we have an 18. So we have a 9, 6, and we have an 18. 8 is, you know, unlimited opportunities. 1 is new beginning. 10, transitional energy. 10 plus 8, 18. And nine, eight, 1 plus 8 is a 9. And 9, so we have another 9. 9, 6, 9. We could look at it that way. We have the moon energy, which is still going to be, um, you know, following through. The moon energy will follow through for at least until the 13th. It really follows through longer than that. But remember, the moon energy is where we release, we relinquish, and request. And, you know, that's... So I, I would say keep doing that at least from now until that 13th and then maybe even keep releasing and relinquishing as the moon starts getting smaller and smaller. But the moon has things that is hidden you're, you know, it, it says you're not being shown everything. You don't know everything. Things are being hidden, but things will work themselves through because the moon comes after the star and the star is all about hope and it comes before the sun and the sun is where things brighten up and, and light is shown. So this is just saying things are hidden right now. Don't be upset. Don't be, you know, don't be so worried you know, again, connect. I don't say to worship the moon. I never say that at all. Um, it is a divine um, creation, so it is something that helps to fo helps me to focus on higher power. Um, so it really is saying, you know, things will be okay. You met. You just don't know everything right now, and you know what? That's okay. It's okay that we don't know any everything because when we do know something. When we do, you know, the more we do know, the more it can entrap us, the more we can, um, you know, just kind of go, oh, what's going to happen? What's going to happen? So basically, even though there's, the, you know, the, the restless nights, the staying up at night, uh, you know, our mind is really trying to make some control. There, We need to um, have faith. We need to believe. We need to just know that there's a lot of things going on in the universe that we just don't know about it. But there is unexpected, you know, there is unexpected money coming in. Debts paid, things like that. Okay? Okay. So let's see what we've got with the um, Colette. I always, yes, Colette Baron Reed. I want to call her Colleen sometimes. And this is the good tarot. So what else do you have for us? So there's some anxiety here. But, you know, really, you know, stay faithful. Stay faithful. Know that things are working out better. Money will be coming in. Provision will be coming in. And it's going to be good provision. And there's, you know, there is the scales. Again, that could be something to do with Libra energy here, too. Libra's right around the corner. So let's see. But we also have Mercury in Libra. And, you know, Mercury is always about, whenever Mercury goes retrograde, it's always to me about karma being fulfilled. So, and it, it does, it is, to me, it's also about uh, the universe trying to offer solutions to right some wrongs. Now, when I say offer, it's because we don't always accept their solutions. So, let's see what we have here. And I don't know if I said this, but I am an intuitive channeler, I open myself up to higher power. My job is just, like I said, to deliver the message. Okay, I think I did say that. Here we go. <laughs> now, again, reversed. We have that Ace of Water, which is lovely. So Ace is a one. One is that new beginning. Water is our Cancer with Pisces, Scorpio energy here. A new emotional um, breakthrough, an emotional journey, something that's going to get us very um, connected, very deeply connected. Now, sometimes this has a romantic aspect to it. I am, you know, just, I am feeling more that this is a new emotional journey. Remember, water is, did I say this, is fluid 
it's um, spiritual, it's very, um, again, it's very, um, it generates a very strong need and want, okay? So this is something that, it, it's, an, it's a new turn, it's a new page, it's a new start, it's a new emotional journey. So whatever's going on next week, or this, this week, whatever this week is, it's going to be interesting. Um, have faith. Stay stay on target. Remember, um, whatever goes on in the world, you still have to live your life, and you know. And we have to do the best that we can. We are, and again, you know, we're light workers. Um, you know, um, star seeds. Whatever you want to say, we are, and we need to keep our vibrations very, very high as we go forth. Okay. So take a moment, please, to comment. What do you read in these cards? Tell me what you see, comment, but also to please like, share, subscribe, click on the bell for notifications, and let's start our readings now. Hello, my Leos, and how are you doing? Well, fire signs are having a little bit of a whirlwind. They're very forceful right now. So let's see if this is going to extend itself to you, or maybe, maybe their energies are just going to blow the stuff that you've been wanting and waiting for in your path. I don't know. Let's see what we've got going. We do have really, you know, I mean, all of those retro, um, those planets that are retro are really quite strong. Mars, again, I'm going to go back to the Mars in Gemini is a very fighting energy. And if you know any Geminis, they're very strategic. They're very they're very clever and they will they you know they they when they've got Mars in their in their corner yeah there there's a lot of winning energy so if you have any Gemini in your sign and oh I have a Venus I have Venus in Venus in Gemini if you have any sign um, any energy that's that you might want to take a look at Gemini too so if you have anything in your natal chart uh, just take a look at those. Do some cross-watching. I think it might be of interest to you, not just for Gemini, but for the rest. Okay, these two are reversed. This one is not. Let's see what we've got here. Okay, well, it seems like you're on the same world win as your other fire signs are. Now, the seven, though, this is Major Arcana card. This is the Chariot. This is Archangel Metatron. Metatron, believed to be Enoch, in this deck, Metatron is also um, the, the, uh, the archangel with the fool energy, the taking the leap of faith. And again, we have this leap of faith with the chariot. Now, chariot does have this fast moving energy to it. So whatever, if there's something you're waiting for, it's going to come faster than you expected. But the leap of faith, the one that goes with the fool, the one that goes with Enoch, is hands off the wheel. That's with the chariot. The chariot is, a, if you look at it, the chariot, he's not holding any reins. And you, and with the chariot, they should not be holding any reins. We do have the black and the white, um, um, the black and the white unicorns. Very much a uh, stallion type of energy here. Very masculine energy here also. Um, really guiding, very powerful energy. Pulling the, pulling the angel along. Pulling the angel who's just standing there. Doesn't even have a place to hold on to. And so there's a lot of, there's a lot of angelic, um, higher power energy holding him where he needs to be. So I kind of feeling like this then. Again, hands off the wheel. You're not in control of the situation. You, you know, you've released control. You've given it to your higher power, God, source, Gaia, whoever that is for you. And you need to believe and you need to have faith that that's going to happen. So whatever this is that you're going for. Now the chariot also brings about positive recognition. Also brings about promotional energy here too. So if you're striving, if you're climbing the ladder, if you're working towards something. Again, this is one of those times that it's by faith and faith alone that you get there. Okay. Now not to say that you didn't put some of the work in. But it's like breakthrough, it is getting through, it is very, um, you know, hands off the wheel type of energy. Seven is a divine number, divine opportunities, it's also a divine umbrella. So, determination and self-control, career advancement, acknowledgement of success by others. And it's interesting, you know, those horses or the unicorns, are, are very, very determined, and yet they are pulling that 
they're pulling that magical, um, you know, they're pulling that magical chariot behind them. There's money in that chariot, too. I'm seeing a pentacle on that chariot. So there's money in the chariot, so there could be an advancement. It could be something that, you know, has to do with money coming to you, too. So next card, reversed. Epiphany. So now we have a nine. Nine is let's wrap it up. Let's get it done. You've got everything you need. Finish it. Now, Epiphany is one of those things that's like light bulb. Oh, I finally get it. I didn't know what was going on before, but now I get it. It's also, this is also the Hermit card. This is Archangel Raziel. Raziel is also with the Magician saying that, you know, as in heaven, so on earth, you have what you need. So we've got these two, you know, basically this was the Zero card, God Source card, you know, the Fool. So Metatron was in the Fool card. Have faith. You might not understand it, just have faith. And then Raziel was with the magician saying, you've got everything you need, okay? Make it happen. However, my Leos, what it's also saying is you're not spending enough time in meditation. You're not spending enough time connecting. Maybe you're, maybe it's not even that you're not spending enough time in meditation. You're not necessarily asking the right questions. You're not asking the right, you're not giving the right requests. Now, we have that full moon on the 10th, and we're still to the 13th. You can still be requesting things. So it's, you're not giving the right words. Now, when I'm, when I'm trying to request for something, I try not to be so specific that it's a yes or a no, but it's, um, you know, but it's something that I try to generalize a little bit more. But, you know, if I need, if I need um, work on my car, you know, just... What I'm, what I'm trying to say is, you know, I don't say, oh, I need a new car or I want a new car or I need, you know, I just say I need good transportation. I need safe transportation. I need, and I need to not pay for this transportation. You're going to have to pay for it and I don't understand why, but, you know, maybe I'm going to have to pay for it up front, but you're going to have to pay for it within the week, within the two weeks. So it, it's kind of like, you know, no, I don't want, I'm not asking for a specific year model, da, 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 da. I'm just saying, I'm kind of giving the problem to God's source and just saying, here's the problem, I need a solution, okay? So the epiphany is that light bulb, is that, oh, I understand, I get it. So there's something going on this week for my Leos right now that something, again, there's an opportunity here, and you need to be a little bit more general, but yet hand it up, hand it up, and no take backs. And that means... Oh, you must be busy. Let me work on it. No, no, no. Joy through spiritual growth. Be a light to others. Answers that come through meditation. So if you, if you don't know how to ask the question, just ask that too. I don't know. You know what I need. You know what I need. But can we get some wants in there too? Can we get some wants? That would be really nice. It's okay to ask that. Next card, reversed. The five of Raphael. So now we have a five energy. Hmm. Five is about change. Positive, negative, we're not really sure. It's stressful in its change. Raphael is our water energy. Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio. Pisces is that full moon. Yes, yeah, south node is in Scorpio. That has a lot to do with your past. Okay, so now we have change. We have fluid, emotional energy. And this is one of those times that you just have to let it rest. You just have to put it into higher power's hand, source's hands, Gaia's hands. You just have to say, okay, I've done what I can do, and obviously it's not enough, or obviously I'm not, you know, I don't know what it is. I don't know what. Is it not, is it not enough? And do I not know what I'm doing? I don't know what it is. So I will allow myself to say, I don't know what it is, but you do. You do. Get me through. Get me through and help. And also, too, I will ask for mercy. Mercy and for guidance, too. Eh, sometimes not the guidance because then you're shown the way and it gets so confusing. So mercy. Mercy is what my big takeaway or my big ask is. Anyway, the Five of Raphael tells you really to let things go. It says don't stress. Don't stress. Things happen because you, it had to happen this way. So... Everything happens for a reason. Release regret and embrace the opportunities for happiness. Search for the silver lining. So, let's see. Let's see what we've got here. So we have a 7, 9, and a 5, 5, 9, and a 7. 
but there are things that are happening. It just might have it just might have taken its time, you know, and it had to take its time because maybe the, I know I know I hate those lessons. I don't like lessons, but maybe there was a lesson to be learned, and now epiphany. Oh, I get it. I get it. So let's see what we have here for my Leos here. But yeah, that seven does have, and again, I do feel that has some money. But again, it's not necessarily in your hands. It's not in your hands. You've got to, you got to submit in many ways. So let's see. Let's see what we have from the guardian angels for my Leos. Guardian angels. Reversed. The guardian of thought. So this is the king of air. King's underlying energy is air. Thought is air. Probably the, well, you know, I've heard that this is supposed to be the oldest of all that is in the tarot, the oldest energy. Very linear, very thoughtful, but very, very clear, clear cut. Okay? Thinks things through, very strategic. It's the air energy too, very strategic. The air energy is ridiculously high for this week. Okay? So you may be called upon to be a spokesperson for a cause close to your heart. Your angels will give you perfect words, and that's one of the things I do tell you, is when I go into something, I ask higher power, give me the words, give me the words. And you'll do brilliantly. You may be asked to be a mentor or find one yourself. This situation involves someone who's professional with a positive attitude and fresh ideas. This person, who could be you, may be emotionally unavailable. So this is where you kind of keep your heart to yourself. There could be somebody out there that if you're, you know, that you could be giving an interview, you could be giving a presentation, but again, that chariot um, is basically just, I'm not saying you don't prepare, you know, but you do need to know your stuff, but you may not, you know, you don't let yourself get so nervous about it that you overthink things too. A lot of that is just, hey, you got to, you got to help me with this. Okay. So I'm not quite sure where we're going with any of this for you, my Leos, but can you let me know? <laughs> Cause it's, uh, it's interesting. These are very, this is very strong pushing you forward. This is like, and again, um, there has to be a lot of faith. There has to be a lot of hands off the wheel with this, but this cart, it's gold. And it's also, you know, there's also the pentagram, the pentacle on it, not pentagram, the pentacle on it. Is it? It looks like there's money on it. Okay, and then there is that nine epiphany. So interesting energies with this. Let's see. Let's see what we have with the inspirational wisdom of our angels and fairies. Here we go. Guardian angel of the world. Allow yourself to grow with your angel's protective light shining all around you. Interesting with that one. Hmm. So, something's happening. Something's happening. Not quite sure. You let me know how this resonates with you, my Leos. What does this all mean? Very strong, very strong, very strong. And then, what is it that happens for its own reason? What is it? What happens? I don't know. But you should. You should. You'll figure it out. Anyway, let's see what we've got. Crystal or energies for, okay, sure. Here we go. Fire, passionate creation, travel, and courage. So it's, I'm kind of getting a thing that it's taken you a while to get here. And, you know, and it, it's again, it's a lot of it has been through faith. A lot of it has been through um, perseverance. A lot of it has been maybe through even some dumb luck, but it's taken you a while. And just keep just keep moving forward because there's more to come. This guardian of thought kind of gives me there's more to come. And there's also, even though he might be emotionally unavailable, I do feel like there is a, that this is something, when it says that it's close to your heart, I do feel it's something you believe very strongly about. So you might be called to, you might be called to speak on something. Okay, anyway, 
let's see what we have here now. My Leos, let me know what we're doing with all of this. Also, to so comment, like, share, subscribe, click on the bell for notifications. As always, my Leos, know that you are loved, stay shining, and be blessed. Bye-bye.